What's that supposed to be? A socialist alternative? Social alternative, that, that's the name of our organization. Uh -huh. um, social alternative. So, um, I mean, basically, we're you know, an anti capitalist organization. Uh -huh. We think that capitalism is the root cause of you know, poverty, uh, you know, war, uh -huh. things like this. Uh -huh. and we, need to, we need to build a, a social society uh, that can challenge capitalism. Social or socialist? Because there's the difference between the two, no? Say it again. Socialist or social? Because you use the word social. Socialist, socialist. 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 Okay, because yeah. you know there's a difference between yeah. social and socialist sure, society. Sure, yeah. Well, we, yeah, we believe that we need a, you know, basically uh -huh. a democratic economy. Uh -huh. We need working people to be empowered to organize, you know, uh -huh. and should democratically run and have a decision in how, you know, their resources are used. How it would be different from our current system? I think it would be very different. I mean, I think that, you know, one example is that, you know, when you clock in at work, you know, you're basically, whatever the boss says goes, you know, you don't really have much of a choice, uh -huh. much of a say in how your work is conducted. Uh -huh. You have the option to leave that job and find another one, but that's, you know, uh -huh. not, not usually a better situation. So uh -huh. Social society, you know, would mean that everyone would have a democratic say in the workplace, in their communities, uh -huh. you know, in, in all these places, you know, that, that that's really what, what happens. So there, there will be no bosses? I think generally, you know, I mean, I think sort of in a, in a Sort of rhetorical way, yeah. There, there would be no bosses generally. That uh -huh. you know, we could have a society where, where people are, you know, working together and that people can democratically decide how the so what if, run. But they're going to be paid for their job, right? Yeah. For their work. Sure. Are they going to be paid equally or or not? Yeah, I think generally, I think generally you can pay people equally. Yeah. Equally. So you, even if you're a doctor or a janitor, you're going to get yeah. paid the same, right? I think that you know it's difficult to predict what how a, a, a radically different society like that would actually take place. Uh -huh. um, I think that there would definitely be considerations for people's skill level and things like that. I think it would definitely be a far shot away from the fact that, you know, a Starbucks employee makes $8 an hour and the CEO of Starbucks makes $9,000 an hour. But what about, but what about professions? I mean, let's, let's forget for a second about, you know, corporate greed, the, the term they like to use. You know, just professionals. Let's say uh, a janitor is a profession. Uh, you know, I mean, lower skill, but it's a profession, it's a job. Uh, and a doctor, I mean, it's, it's a very, uh, probably one of the most important jobs. I mean, one of the most yeah, important people in life, you know? I mean, when, when you're sick, really nothing else matters. Right. You know, I'm, I'm sure you were sick, I was sick, and when you're sick, you know, all you want, just one thing, right. recover and get better, right? And the only person that can do that is a doctor, right? right? So right there, you know, there's, I'm just picking a brain, if you sure, don't mind. Sure. So right right there, there's uh, inequality. I mean, a doctor and a janitor, two different uh, right. professions. But the, how, how are we going to compensate them? Sure. If you're saying it's going to be the same compensation for both. Well, I think that the inequality between a doctor and a janitor isn't, isn't, the, pro, isn't the main problem we're facing in society, you know? The inequality between a doctor and a janitor isn't causing, you know, yeah, but uh, homelessness but, and poverty. Okay, but specifically, it's, I mean. It's, it's, it's a bit of an abstraction, in my opinion, you know? like So socialism say, is an abstraction. No, I don't think so. I think I think that the sort of dissecting, like from taking from the standpoint of saying, oh, well, let's remove, uh, you know, the CEOs and like that. The CEOs and, and the inequality and, and capitalism and the concentration of wealth at the top is is the problem. That is exactly what we, as an organization, you know, as a movement, intend to eradicate. You know, is that, is that, in, is that inequality? You know. Okay, but uh, I think I think it's fine if, if a doctor is paid, you know, a certain amount higher than someone else. Yeah, they're both socially necessary. I think this thing should be decided democratically. I don't think it's up to me to decide. Okay, so let's. Yeah, but, but uh, you know, let's take our existing system. Okay. Let's say a janitor is paid, let's say $10 an hour, okay. an hour hypothetically. And the doctor is paid, I don't know, a surgeon, half a million dollars okay. a year. So are you going to change that, that uh, you know, payment compensation rate? Right. Are you going to change that? I think, or I think it's, I think did it's, you say there too big of a difference? I mean, there's a huge difference. Yeah, there's a difference, like, yeah. Like, like oh, an order of magnitude difference. So, right. so are you looking to change that or preserve that? I don't think it's really, I don't think it would be intelligent to come up with a decision today in 2014 what a doctor should be paid, you know, maybe decades in the future when a, a theoretical social society is, is established. Theoretical. A theoretical social society theoretical. is established, yeah. So that's the key word, theoretical. Well, the, what you're putting forward is a theoretical argument. You're asking me, you know, theoretically how much would a, would a, would a doctor be paid. I'm not interested in theoretical, I'm interested in concrete situations. Okay, okay, the concrete situation as it is today is that workers are paid less and less 
less and less, and that there's more and more wealth being concentrated at the top. So what, I'm, what, I, what, what our organization calls for is to take in the public ownership of the 500 wealthiest companies in, in the United States, to take them under democratic control, and to, and to uh, coordinate production upon a planned economy. That's completely, something completely realizable. But that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't itself, you know, dictate, you know, oh, well, doctors should be paid this, doctors should be paid that, janitors should be paid this, janitors should be paid that. I think everyone should be paid enough to live. I think there's just enough ways. to live. I think no. I think that everyone should be paid enough to to live and, and, uh, and to uh, and to uh, and to uh, you know fulfill their destiny and things like that. But, but how this compensation is going to be determined? I actually have to go. Actually, but it was great okay. talking to you though. My name is Ryan. Ryan. Okay, Vladimir. Vladimir. Vladimir is great talking to you. All right, sure, sure. I recognize you. Now, now you're a socialist alternative girl, right? Stay away from you. Stay away. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs>